PeopleSoft e procurement enhances the fluid create requisition feature by redesigning the search results, item history, favorites, and templates pages, adding a new requisition inquiry feature, and integrating with the Oracle Business Network or OBN. The Create Requisition tile displays the number of items available in your cart. The Create Requisition page is enhanced with multiple new features. Use the Search option to search the items from a selected search category. You can also select All to display items from all the categories. Use the Advanced Catalog Search option to find an item based on specific criteria. Select the gear icon to navigate to the Requisition Defaults and Requisition Settings pages. Use the facets on the left to filter items. The top of the search results section displays buttons for the search categories that contain the item and match your search criteria. Use the cart icon to view the number of items in the cart. The New Persistent Cart section is always visible and displays added items, UOM, quantity, and price. Use the Delete button to remove all items from the cart or remove them individually. Click the Item Name link to view the item details. Use the Item Details page to view all images available for the item or select the image to enlarge it. Use the previously requisitioned link to access the Requisition Details page. Use the Requisition Details page to view the most recent requisition for the item. This page also displays detailed information about the requisition, including comments, attachments, item descriptions, schedules, distributions, and line details. This page can also be accessed using the Inquiry action from the My Requisitions page. Use the heart icon to add an item to your favorites list or the template icon to add an item to a template. The icons change color after you've added the item to either one. Use the item history page to perform actions such as adding the item to the cart, favorites, or templates. Items that appear on this page are recently ordered by you. Use the Favorites page to manage frequently ordered items and groups of items. You can group items into favorite collections. Use the Templates page to view company templates and personal templates or kits, which can be added by the requester. While adding items to a template, you can create a new personal template or add to an existing one. We've renamed Web Supplier to Punchouts. OBN is a free-to-use hosted trading exchange. Some PeopleSoft customers use OBN for PO dispatch, PO acknowledgments, ASNs, and invoices. Using OBN for Punchout enhances the integration with suppliers and enables OBN to manage all supplier Punchout credentials. Once the supplier is defined for OBN Punchout, the supplier appears on the Create Requisition Punchout page. This completes our demonstration of e-procurement requisition enhancements. PeopleSoft adds the Expenses Work Center in Fluid. The My Work Grouplet provides sections to manage exceptions, on hold and pending approvals, as well as alerts. The Exceptions section displays all four exception categories for those who have the EX underscore fluid underscore admin role. If you don't have this role, only non-reimbursable charges to prepaid credit cards is displayed. In addition, the Incorrectly Reimbursed Expenses Classic category has been renamed in Fluid to Cash Advances Paid in Error and Overdue Cash Advances is renamed to Outstanding Cash Advances. Actions include notifying an employee or a manager and more. The My Approvals grouplet allows you to review and take action on pending approvals that are assigned to you. The Links pagelet allows you to access frequently used internal and external links. The categories that are available depend on security. The Queries pagelet allows you to access frequently used public and private queries and the Query Manager. 
The Reports and Processes grouplet allows you to access system-defined run control pages for reports and processes for which you have access. This completes the Expenses Work Center in Fluid description. FSCM Update Image 51 is the first image to utilize PeopleTools 861. Among many new features, PeopleTools 861 enables administrators to add Insights dashboards to work centers using the Configure Pagelets My Insights page. In this image, embedded insights are available in the Billing, Commitment Control, and Payables work centers. The Insights Catalog tile and Navigation Collection enables authorized users to access all FSCM Insights dashboards from one central location. When performing keyword searches using the Global Search field, the system displays content reference long descriptions in the Suggestion Search and Global Search results. This provides additional details about the entries. In addition, the Global Search field provides an Insight Search category to search for Insights dashboards and visualizations. FSCM Update Image 49 was the first image to adopt the Enterprise Components Notification Composer framework. This centralized framework allows you to create and manage all your notifications within PeopleSoft applications. Notification Composer streamlines multiple notification methods and frameworks into a single approach. With Image 51, these products now use the notification framework for non-approval workflow engine notifications. This completes the descriptions for cross-product features. PeopleSoft Billing enhances the spreadsheet used to review and import invoice data from third-party systems. Improved Data Entry enables you to enter data on a single row for multiple interface tables. This allows you to enter single row invoices on one row with the exception of notes. In addition, we've minimized the amount of scrolling needed between sections. The new buttons in column A allow you to navigate to the associated interface table columns instead of using the horizontal scroll bar. For example, select the Billing Interface Header button and the system moves to column JM. The table sequence listed across the top has changed on the datasheet and the template tab. The first 13 rows are frozen on the spreadsheet so that when using the vertical scroll bar, the buttons in column A don't move. This enables you to see the table buttons at all times, regardless of how many rows of data are entered. Select the Billing Interface Table button, and the system moves to column C. The buttons across the top allow you to generate the spreadsheet or generate and post the spreadsheet. These buttons aren't new, but they have been moved. When performing data entry, enter the line number in column C and the transaction type in column D. Tax details, excise tax details, and accounting entry discounts and surcharges are entered into child tables and therefore can have multiple rows. You must manually move to a new row when entering notes because it has a different transaction type. In this example, line 1 has a note and it's entered on row 9 of the spreadsheet. In addition, you must manually move to a new row when entering a new line number. When entering data for line 2, which is cell C10, select the Tax Details button when you're ready to enter tax information. Notice that the system jumps to MY10 and stays on row 10. This is the appropriate row and column for line 2. Chart field security is automatically verified each time you run the spreadsheet journal import process. 
If journals fail this verification process, they're not imported into the system and this type of error is displayed. When you select the Edit Journals option on the Define Options and Defaults page, the system automatically runs the edit process when importing journals. If the edit process completes successfully, the status of journals that pass the edit process are automatically changed to ready to post. PeopleSoft Payables adds Requester as an auto assignment option on the Match Exception group page. The Buyer field is now a filter option on the Match Exception Collaboration Summary page. PeopleSoft enhances the voucher upload process by including additional fields on the voucher upload spreadsheet, saving login information, including additional field validation, and improving error messaging. A maintenance worksheet can be created by the auto maintenance process or online. PeopleSoft adds the ability to search for maintenance worksheets by selecting whether the worksheet was created by the auto maintenance process or not. If a worksheet was created by this process, you can also search for the auto maintenance method used. Use the item activity from a match group page to view the algorithm group ID that was used by the auto maintenance process. This completes the descriptions for financial management system features. FSCM Update Image 51 adds a process to send project costing transactions to General Ledger. Enter run control parameters for a specific fiscal year and period, or a range of fiscal years and periods. This process sends fiscal year, accounting period, and journal date information to PeopleSoft General Ledger which streamlines the transaction data reconciliation process between project costing and general ledger. Use the Update Contract Journal Info page to run this process if you use PeopleSoft contracts to send project transactions to general ledger. Message details in the Process Monitor display the number of rows updated in project costing. This completes the feature description for Enterprise Service Automation. PeopleSoft Asset Management converts the service request inbox to Fluid, which allows service request agents and technicians to search, view, modify, or add service requests using the Fluid user interface. Use the search criteria to filter and select a service request and review its details and assignments. Select the Add Service Request button to create a new service request. Use the Agent Service Request page to create a work order or associate the service request to an existing work order. Use the Create Work Order page to review or update the project, shop, and priority that is associated with the new work order. When you select Associate to Existing Work Order, the Associate to Existing Work Order page enables you to associate the service request to an existing work order. This page displays the open work orders for the asset in the service request and displays work order details such as description, type, source, status, and so on. This enables you to determine which work order is appropriate for the selected service request. This completes the feature description for asset lifecycle management. This list displays additional features and enhancements added for FSCM Update Image 51. Receivables now supports accounting tags and enhances the collections workbench to include direct journal payments. Billing allows you to automatically pull address information into the Courtesy Copy Address page. Address information defaults to the standard billing courtesy copy address page if you select the courtesy copy checkbox on the contact information contact customers page. Purchasing sends a purchase order dispatch email from the buyer, system, or specific email ID. 
You can also include or exclude buyers from the PO Dispatch email. In addition, you can turn off real-time indexing when certain high-volume batch jobs are run that update procurement contracts and purchasing effectiveness insights. You can now import procurement contracts using delimited file and fixed file layouts. And the purchase order contract maintenance process is automated for item price updates and other changes. Supplier Portal adds two-factor authentication, which sends an access code to the primary email ID before proceeding. Supplier Contract Management adds the ability to reuse canceled amendment sequence numbers for future amendments to match audit control requirements. Inventory adds the lot expiration date to the advanced shipping notice in EDI and XML modes. The Manage Replenishment Request component displays the additional fields based on the configuration on the Setup Item Replenishment and Setup Replenishment pages. Grant and Contract pages are updated to display the change in terminology from Catalog of Federal Domestic Assistance to Assistance Listing Number. In addition, Awards and Proposals display the prime sponsor when applicable. Resource Management adds drop zones to assign resource, resource requests, and service order summary classic pages. Asset Management enhances the load netbook value table process to calculate the remaining life of an asset. Lease Administration adds approval workflow engine processes for lease activation and amendment transactions. Maintenance Management adds the ability to automatically inactivate preventive maintenance schedules with the retired assets. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.